What does this mean for people outside of the Silicon Valley bank um, uh, universe? What does this mean for the average borrower, if anything? Uh, so far, it doesn't mean anything, but the big question is one of contagion. That is, what we saw in 2008 was when one big bank and a couple of others started to fail, could not pay their depositors, could not actually pay up what they owed, uh, they were closed and regulators had to move in very, very quickly. Uh, but we ended up with a financial crisis because, uh, you know, one big banking card uh, easily starts tipping over other cards. It's a house of cards. Now, we don't know yet about con uh, contagion. We, what we do know is that this bank was obviously overextended. And this is related to the Fed because as interest rates went up and, as, and this bank was lending to a lot of startups, uh, this bank simply could not handle it. I think that this is the biggest economic news today. It is not uh, this jobs report. The jobs report was good, uh, and it kind of signals to me a soft landing. But I think that in terms of what the Fed is going to do, uh, this bank uh, implosion, this potential contagion may reverse uh, Jerome Powell's uh, direction. It may lead to, instead of a half a point, increase at the March meeting, it may lead to no increase at all. In fact, it's even conceivable uh, that interest rates start dropping out of a fear uh, that we're going to be in deep trouble. You have advocated for the Fed to stop increasing uh, the interest rate. Why? Be before this uh, issue with the um, Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, simply because I don't see any wage price inflation. Wages, according to Jerome Powell, are pushing up prices. Well, that's simply not the case. Look at today's report, for example. We, we're seeing the, the smallest wage increase in over a year. Prices continue to rise. That is absolutely true. But wages are not pushing them up. It's not that workers are doing so wonderfully well. But what's pushing up many prices domestically is big companies that want to increase their profit margins. And so they have monopolies or near monopolies, oligopolies. They are using the opportunity, using inflation as an excuse to put up their prices. So this is at its at its bottom here, it really is an antitrust monopolization issue. It is not a Fed uh, interest rate problem. So uh, you suggest that the Fed should stop increasing the interest rate. But if that is the only tool they have, I imagine you're going to correct that assumption. But if that is the only tool they have to try to bring it back down to the 2 percent uh, uh, rate, that goal, then what what else can they do to 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 try to tame inflation if not increase the the interest rate well first of all let me just say it, it's not clear that they have to do anything else inflation is starting to come down now we'll find out more tuesday uh, when the inflation report the consumer price ingress increase report uh, inflation report will be coming out uh, but as of what we know now uh, inflation is slowing slightly. As, and the, the key here is the direction. Uh, you know, if inflation were increasing, that would be one thing. But if inflation is starting to s slow down, if we're seeing it going in the right direction, then it's not clear that the Fed has got to keep raising interest rates and risking a recession uh, that's going to hurt everybody. 